Stand by for action. We are about to launch Stingray. Anything can happen in the next half hour. Is quiet. You shouldn't have said that, Troy. Whenever you say things are quiet, something usually happens. Commander Shore speaking. Stingray crew stand by for launch stations. Yeah, I see what you mean, Phones. This is a full-scale emergency, Captain. It could be the most dangerous mission of your career. That suits me. What is the mission, sir? No questions, Tempest. Just stand by. Okay, sir. Must be something big, eh, Phones? Yeah, if the commander says it'll be dangerous, then it sure will be. But why didn't he tell us what it was about? Security, I guess. Two solid hours just waiting. What goes on? Take it easy, Troy. Just, just take it easy. Yeah, it's just that I hate being cooped up in here, like one of those fish in this aquarium. What do you mean, Troy? Take that fish over there. He can be happily swimming along, and then, bump! He's gone slap into a glass wall. Yeah, but they've got no worries. Plenty of food and controlled water temperature. Uh, which reminds me, it's, it's kind of chilly. I'll go fix the heating. Well, hanging around may be okay for a fish, but it sure doesn't suit me. Tempest to Tower, how about it, Commander? Let's get moving. Or at least tell us what's going on. Captain Tempest, when I'm ready to tell you, I'll do so, and not before. Now continue to stand by. Yes, sir. What's got into that guy? Gee, phones, it's hot in here. What have you done to the heating? Well, I figure it's just right now. I know you come from the sunny south, but I'm telling you, it's too hot for me. You sure are on edge today, Troy. Now relax, will you? This is it. Okay, Troy. Stingray, you are clear to go.
from Stingray, Seaborn. Now, will you tell us what this is all about? Proceed to position north, northwest, 1,000 reference one. But we're at that position now. Well done, Tempest. You will see a tunnel. Continue along its length, and then await further instructions. But, sir, why all the mystery? What in thunder's going on? Captain Tempest, one of these days I'm gonna cut you down to size. You got your orders, just carry them out. Yes, sir. <laughs> I can see a light. Yeah, the end of the tunnel. Tower from Stingray. We're through the tunnel, Commander. Now what? I told you to await further instructions. Stop being the big man, Tempest. Do as you're told. Why is it the Commander's going out of his way to make me look small? What are you playing at, Phones? I didn't do anything, Troy. It felt like we hit a rock. Yeah, well, be careful, eh? What is this, Phones? Sorry, right, Troy, but I just don't get it. I can't see anything. Say, wait a minute. Troy, look. Yeah, Phones, I'm looking, but I don't believe it. We must be seeing things. It's crazy. But it's there, Troy. It's crazy, but it's there. Move her forward, Phones. I want to take a closer look. Phones, we're hitting glass. We must be hitting a sheet of glass. Yeah. We must be in a... No, no, it's, it's too fantastic. I know, Phones, but we are. We're in an aquarium. We're in an aquarium in a giant room. Phones, send out an emergency call to Marineville. Sorry, Troy, no can do. The line's dead. Right, stand by to surface. We've got to find out what's going on. Standing by to surface. Blow one. Blow three, five, and seven. Three, five, and seven. Okay, let's take a look around on the monocopters. Television phones. Let's switch it on. It may tell us something. Gee, Troy, it's massive. Yeah. I, I can't, Troy. It, it's too stiff. Okay, move back. The company has stated that the new strike is going to be the richest yet. Wall Street reaction was a wave of buying, and the index rose one point. Now a news flash. There still remains no news of Stingray, the famous Aquanaut patrol vessel. Contact was lost 30 minutes ago. In a statement from Marineville, Commander Shore said that the craft was on a dangerous mission and that there was little hope of its survival. When asked the motive of the mission, Commander Shore said, no comment. Yeah, I can believe that. This is We've been given up for deal. lost. Now stand by for top five. But first, a message for you. Move aside, folks. This is no time for commercials. Let's take a look at the table. Leave the monocopters here. We'll find out who this table's set for. Now, that
that's what I call king size. Bones, Marina, over here. Take a look at this. Yeah, Marina. I seem to remember that name, too. The, the rocket emplacement on Balne Island. Y you remember? Uh, Nucella was the guy who captured us. That's it, Phones. We just escaped with our lives. Well, let's see who else is invited. This gets worse, Troy. L look at this one. Gaddis. You ought to remember him, Marina. He kidnapped Admiral Carson and Millie. We had to go and rescue them. Well, this seems to be some kind of convention for all the biggest underwater enemies of Marineville. You're right, but what I don't understand is that either they've turned into giants or we've turned into miniature people. Troy, I hate to admit this, but I'm scared. Keep calm, Phones. Let's move to the head of the table and see who's running this show. I guess we'd need a pile driver to crack these babies. I don't want to worry you, Phones. But do you know who's giving this party? Tell me the worst. Titan. Guess you were right, Phones. Some of our biggest enemies are coming here. Yeah. And they all must have changed into giants. I, I, I don't figure it. Come on, back to Stingray. We've got to get out of here. Troy, look. Hey. Stingray's smaller than we are. Well, we were in there a minute ago. Maybe, but one thing's for sure, we couldn't get inside her now. Hey, someone's coming. Guards, and he was three times as big as us. Yeah, and if we are found, they'll stomp on us like we were bugs. What are we gonna do? <laughs> why they're having this dinner party. Well, if Titan's involved, it'll probably be to plan an attack on Marineville. Say, what's that roll of papers up by Titan's place? Let's have a look. It might give us a clue. Phone, stop clowning and get up here. Clowning, he calls it. Why, that knife almost cut me in half. Give me some help here, Phones. We gotta get these documents unrolled. Okay, Troy. Bones, these are photostats of Marineville. If Titan gets a hold of them, he'll be able to bust Marineville wide open. Yeah. What's underneath? Let's see. Uh, step aside. I'll lift my foot. Yeah, it's all here. Details of Marineville's entire defense system. This is mighty serious, Troy. What are we going to do? Good girl, Marina. We may be able to contact Marineville by telephone. Come on. You'll have to give me a hand, Phones. Okay, Troy. Ready when you are. Get that pencil, Phones. It'll help you to dial the number.
ashore. Oh, Commander, we're in the craziest situation. It's a giant room, and the Marineville defense plans are here. Seems a Titan and a crowd of his buddies are coming to a dinner party. All right, stop the fooling, Tempest. I'm a busy man. Did you get that, Troy? Yeah, it nearly deafened me. Commander, sir, it's no joke. There's an aquafibian here dressed like a butler, and everything is three times as big as us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very funny, Troy. Now get off the line. But, sir, stingrays in an aquarium. You've got to help us. Trace the call and get us out of here. Do you understand? Of course I understand. You're in a giant room having dinner with Titan, with an aquafibian as a butler and stingrays in an aquarium. Have a good time. Will you get that guy? Giant secret plans, aquariums, what a joker. Yeah, he sure is. Hello, Commander? Hello? He's hung up, Troy. Yeah, I don't get it. That TV announcement said we were lost. Yet Commander Shore acts as if we were practical jokers. I guess we're on our own, Troy. Yeah. Well, we've got to get those defense plans away from here. If Titan sees them, Marineville's finished. Come on. <laughs> Mr. Table Laid, Jeeves C. What is the meaning of this? The table is in a mess. <laughs> it was in order. I don't understand it. Do you realize that Titan and his guests will be here in 15 marine minutes? Titan will have your gills for garters. <laughs> Never have I known such a crowd of useless undersea creatures as you aquafibians. Now get this table cleared up at once. I mean, what is the meaning of this? Who told you to set fish knives and forks? <laughs> you thought, idiot. It is hardly tactful to serve fish on such an occasion. Now make sure you do it correctly this time, or I'll throw you onto the land. Boy, whew, that was close. Yeah. Now let's take care of those plans. Where do we put them, Troy? We can't get back to Stingray. Well, there's only one answer. Destroy them. Oh, that'd take too long. Well, let's burn them, Phones. We've got to work fast. Titan will be here soon. This brandy's going to be our fuel. Phones. The matches. Put your foot on them, phones. I'll tear one off. Okay. Now stand back. Quick, the whole... 
whole table's on fire. Make for the aquarium. Troy, we'll never get in Stingray. It's too small. We got out of Stingray. We'll get back in there. Come on. <laughs> to normal size. Maybe. We're still in a fish tank, not the ocean. Yeah. I'm trying to figure a way out. But there is no way out. Troy, the water's heating up. It's boiling foams. The aquarium's boiling. Prepare the fire sting missiles, Phones. If we break the glass, the water could put out the flames. Standing by with missiles. It's the only chance we've got. Fire! I'm in the standby lounge. There is no fire, no giants. It's okay, Troy. You're awake now. Did you have a good sleep? A good sleep? Gee, did I have a crazy dream. Phones, the heating system, turn it down. It's like an oven in here. Come on ashore here. Okay, Stingray crew, stand down. The emergency is over. Boy, am I glad of that, sir. I've just been on the most dangerous mission of my career. What are you talking about, Tempest? Oh, never mind, sir. Guess you wouldn't understand. By the way, uh, sorry I was so impatient earlier. That's all right, Troy. Glad to hear you're back to normal. Yeah, Commander. So am I. So am I. Close to my heart. 